Hey everybody, it's Christy back with another video. And today is Art Addicts Alliance Day. I know, can you believe that we're that far into September already? But today is the third Friday of the month and so I have my Art Addicts Alliance video for you today. One of our themes that we picked was fall. I love fall. This is my favorite time of year and so I was very excited to participate in this theme. So one of the things that I thought about, I thought about a lot of different things I could do for this theme, but I haven't done anything with my bullet journal in a while on the channel and I thought that I would go through and actually do my whole October spread with you guys today. Um, I'm just going to show you what I've sketched out so far and then we'll get right to it. I'm planning on using gouache for the painting part of it and I'm just going to go ahead and do it on stream. I'll talk to you um, in a voiceover or as I go just about what's going on and I hope that you enjoy it. So this first of all is my bullet journal. This journal, I don't know if it says on the back, this is a journal by Vivid Scribbles. It was $25 on Amazon at the beginning of the year that I bought it. Um, last year I bought a more expensive journal than this from Archer and Olive and I did really like it. I really did enjoy my Archer and Olive journal, but I was looking for something a little bit more affordable this year, so I bought this one thinking that, you know what, if it doesn't work out, that's fine. I'll buy another Archer and Olive and I'll just give this to my daughter or whatever. And this journal has turned out to be a really great find. The paper's thick, nothing bleeds. Um, I, I really enjoy being able to work with it on media. Now, it's not like mixed media paper or anything, but the dot grid paper in it holds up really well. So again, I will put a link to a similar journal um, in my description. My link is an affiliate link for Amazon, just full disclosure. But um, yeah, so I really like this guy. And I'm just going to flip right to what I'm planning for October. So we've got October here. I'm going to do a little pumpkin here. I mean, how cute is that? And then I'm going to use kind of like a typewritery font this month, I've decided. My mood tracker is going to be a leaf and I just drew it out. I'm just going to line it in and then I'll probably do a little key right here underneath it real small so that we can talk about the colors. The habit tracker will be here. I have three little things that I'll put in and then I'm going to paint these pumpkins but I like to do my mood and habit trackers on one page. Then this is going to be my calendar spread for the month. I drew a big corn stalk. I thought that was fun for the fall theme some pumpkins down here in the corner. I might end up doing a few more things um, sketch-wise as I, I see fit once I get going with the calendar, but I'm um, really happy so far with how that's going to turn out. I always include a page for YouTube plans because I like to have somewhere to kind of think out my process for YouTube. I have a whole separate book that I use to talk about YouTube stuff, but I do like to have a page each month dedicated to that. And then a bill tracker. I like to have my bills tracked. I usually don't do anything too complicated here. I will probably paint something on the bottom here of this. I just haven't drawn it yet, but I am thinking that I'm going to do that. And then I'll go through one weekly spread with you. Um, usually my weekly spreads look like this. I don't change up the formatting at all uh, just because I'm comfortable with what I have and that it works. So I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, weekly notes, just as a spot to write anything I need to know. I'll usually decorate something in here, so you'll probably see me do that. I can even show off one that I have done for September in a minute here. And then my menu, because I do plan out my meals, and so that's just a nice little spot to put each dinner each day so that I know what I'm doing. And then I don't have the rest of the October calendars in here yet, but I will do them. But just to show you kind of a weekly spread that I have planned upcoming, this is one of the ones I did for September. It's for next week, and I think that looks really nice. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cute. Uh, yeah, but that is my plan going forward here for October. I hope that you enjoy this journey with me and you can go on and plan with me. If you have not seen the Art Addicts Alliance before, uh, or if this is the first video of the Art Addicts Alliance you're watching, we are a group that contests of all kinds of artists and creative people, and it's a wonderful community to be a part of. We have a Discord. I'll link it below. 
and I will put up a list to everybody's YouTube channel who is participating, um, is, is a participating member in the Art Addicts Alliance, so you can go and watch all of their videos. I'm sure that everybody's going to have a little bit of a different take. The two prompts this month were fall and ethereal, so I'm sure we're going to see some really awesome, beautiful, cool, spooky stuff. So I look forward to watching everybody else's video, and if you, this is the first channel that you're at, feel free to browse below and find more. And if I'm the last video you're watching, thank you for watching all the videos from the Art Addicts Alliance. It's one of my favorite things that I get to be a part of every single month. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get to painting. Voice over Christy here. So at both the beginning and the end of this video, I said that I was going to do a voiceover, but upon listening back to it, I don't really think there's much I need to voice over here. I really enjoyed painting this and I got into just relaxing and painting with the gouache and having a good time with my bullet journal setup. I also spent plenty of time talking about the Art Addicts Alliance, but really quickly, I will say that if you are interested in joining the Art Addicts Alliance, I'm going to link the Discord in the description below. And if you haven't watched anybody else's Art Addicts Alliance videos, please go ahead and click through the links that are also in the description below. I love being a part of the Art Addicts Alliance, and I love getting to do um, a joint prompt with them every month. It's always so fun. So without further ado, I'm just going to put on some music and let you watch the process, and I'll see you back for the final flip through.
All right, so I'm finished here with my October bullet journal and I'm really excited about how it turned out. I can't wait to do the flip through with you here. I thought I'd come on for a minute and just talk a little bit about the supplies that I used. Um, so let's go through everything I have here. I'll start with my eraser. This is an eraser I got in an upgrade. It's a pretty nice eraser. I enjoy it. It's not, um, you know, it's on my desk, so I've been using it, but it does work well. This is a Tombow Mono Graph Pencil. I bought it from Stationery Pal, and I have been using it for a while now. It seems to be growing on me. I really, really seem to be grabbing it a lot and picking it up. I like how it feels in my hand. It's a 0.5 lead, so it's nice for sketching. It seems to be nice for list making. Um, I just seem to really, really like it. I like that the click of the lead is on this thing and not on the top. So this has kind of become one of my go-to pencils. For actually writing down things in my journal, I always use my Tombow Food No Skate pen. Usually a hard tip, which is what this is because I'm a little bit heavy handed, but these are my favorite black brush pens. They don't bleed with water. If you're a waterproof or if you're a watercolor artist and you want lines that aren't going to move at all, but you want a good brush tip that's pretty solid. I mean, this guy just can't be beat. I really love these. I use them all the time. And then for little mistakes or things that the white wash couldn't cover or that were too detailed, I used my Jelly Roll uh, 8 pen. This is just what happened to be on my desk. I use Uniball Signo pens a lot too. I just, this is what I grabbed. So I don't really have a preference between Uniball Signo and Jelly Roll. I use them interchangeably. This is a clip that I got from Stationery Pal. I think it was in my most recent art haul that I showed that, but it's a really nice clip and it's nice and big, so it uh, holds this down pretty nicely. And this gouache that I have here is from Magic Fly. I bought it instead of buying Arteza's 24 pack of gouache, because Arteza's 24 gouache set has been sold out forever. So in the comments on Amazon, in the reviews on Amazon, somebody suggested this was a very close um, that they were barely like they were basically the same gouache. I have not tried Arteza's gouache other than their metallic gouache, but this stuff is awesome. I had a great time using it. I was able to rewet it nicely. Its consistency was wonderful. It was just great to work with. I'm going to leave this on this palette because it's a nice fall palette of colors, and I'm probably going to use more of it before I do anything with it. This is a moon palette by Sylvan Clay Works, if you don't know. Sylvan Clay Works, I will link her on Instagram because she is an amazing ceramic artist. And the cup that I had here, it's dirty right now, but it also is by Sylvan Clay Works. So that's kind of everything here. Let's go through the final setup of the bullet journal. Let me move some stuff out of the way now so that we can focus in on just the journal. All right, so here is my first page. This washi tape I also got, I believe that one came from e from Jet Pens or Stationery Pal. I'll link it below if anyone's interested in the washi tape. Really like that washi tape. Uh, but I love how the pumpkin turned out. I love the October. This is gonna be my mood tracker, and I didn't actually show this part of it, but there's my little key. My three habits that I always do every month are healthy choices, creative time, and adulting. Adulting is just basically, you, did you, you know, do the adult things that you were supposed to today? Do you feel like you did a good job? Sometimes it's hard to adult, guys. And some little pumpkins at the bottom. Here's our calendar spread for October. Again, some pumpkins, and then we did the cornstalk. I really like how this one turned out as well. I think it's super cute, and I love the cornstalk idea. Here I have YouTube plans. I added a couple stickers to the bottom, and my bill tracker. I don't ever color or do anything with the bill tracker except write it out. And then here is my first weekly spread. Like I said before, my weekly spreads always look the same, and then I'll sometimes decorate this. I just added a little washi tape to it and a little bit of a pumpkin there. And then I didn't do any other weeks yet, but if you are interested in seeing the rest of the weeks, I will film or maybe put them on Instagram. 
So hopefully this was fun for you guys. I love that the Art Addicts Alliance had fall as one of the prompts. It gave me an opportunity to really dive into this new gouache and dive into my bullet journal and have some fun with it. Again, I'm going to link everybody for the Art Addicts Alliance in the comments below. I know I already talked about that in the voiceover. Do you guys use a bullet journal or do you just have a normal planner? What's your What's your method for planning every week? Do you have one at all? Let me know in the comments below. So that's going to be it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found something inspiring to go out there and create some artsy bits yourself today. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.